The following interview was conducted with Laura A. Podorsky, Purdue class uh, current student who attended the christening of the USS Coast Guard cutter Dorothy C. Stratton on July 23rd in Mississippi. This is for the for, um, Purdue Library's Oral History Program, and it took place on Thursday, August 5th, 2010, in Stewart Center. The interviewer is Catherine Marquis, the Oral History Library. Welcome, Laura. Thank Good you. Good morning, and thank you very much. Well, tell us a little about uh, your family and where you were born and when. And um, I was born in northern Indiana in 1989, and we moved around a lot when I was younger. We ended up living in Memphis, Tennessee, and then a suburb of Detroit. And then we're back in northern Indiana, just in a different town, which is where I graduated high school from. Um, I'm the oldest of five kids. Um, tell us about grade school, or grade school, and then tell us about high school. Where'd you go to grade school? I went to I went to several grade schools. Okay. Uh, predominantly uh, Nativity, the small little Catholic school in Portage, Indiana. Okay. Um, like I said, we kind of moved around a lot after that. Sure. So, where did what high school did you then get? Um, I went to. I went to three, actually. I okay. went to um, Athens High School in Troy, Michigan. I went to Goshen High School in Goshen, Indiana, and then I was only there for a semester, and then I switched to Marion High School in Mishawaka. Okay, okay. Tell us about high school. Any student organizations, or what was high school uh, like in your course, and any teachers? I, I was big into the science classes, so um, anything, any honor science class, basically, I took there, um, and I, re I really liked the science teachers. Um, they, were, they were some pretty good mentors to have. I, I did rugby all four years of high school. That was a lot of fun. That was my favorite activity. Um, just different clubs like Science Olympiad, Quiz Bowl, Mock Trial. Um, I did tennis, cross country, synchronized swimming. I like to stay busy. Super. What, uh, how large was your class? How many students? My graduating had? class? Yeah. Uh -huh. mm, about 150, I want to okay. say. It wasn't that the biggest high school. Right. But it was, you sort of got to know a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, you knew everyone and everything about them by the time you graduated. <laughs> the small world, right? Yeah. Very small, mm -hmm. right? Uh, how did you happen to uh, come to Purdue? To, to had you? Um, I really, I only applied to Purdue, and then I kind of applied to IU as a backup. I knew I wanted to do something science related. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, so I originally applied to the College of Science here at Purdue. Purdue's nice because it's like it's two and a half hours away from my house. So it's far enough away where my parents aren't going to be knocking on my door every weekend. But right. Close but it's enough. close enough. Right. Mm -hmm. So I originally applied to the College of Science, and then I had no idea what I wanted to do in there. So before I actually started my freshman year, I switched to the College of Engineering. Figured I was good at math and science. I didn't really know what engineering was, but I'd give it a try. Uh, my dad's an engineer. That's actually kind of okay. how I switched to that. Um, so I went through freshman engineering realized I didn't like physics and wasn't too good at it, so that eliminated a lot of the engineering's for me. So, it's, and uh, biological just seemed most in tune with what I was interested in, so that's how I got to do biological engineering. Super, that's nice. Are you, um, are you in biomedical or in biological? Biological, okay. it's part of the agricultural and biological engineering right, program. Okay. Tell us about ROTC and then how you got that scholarship. Um, I started applying, well I started looking at different schools and how I was going to pay for them my junior year. My dad suggested the academies, and I thought that was funny. Me in the military, that never happened. So we, we went to look at the academies, and I realized that wasn't for me. I didn't like it. That was not what Did you, go, did you visit all of the, the uh, We visited West Point and Annapolis. Okay. Um, so we visited those spring break of my junior year of high school, and that was not for me. Um, so then I started looking at ROTC programs. I really didn't know much about it. I just figured, you know, it was a way to pay for school. If I didn't like it, they had a, a you have a year, your freshman year, where you can choose to drop your scholarship and you no penalties against you. So I didn't always sign up for, but I signed up for it and got it. Um, so I figured I'd try it. And that first semester, um, my freshman year, I was like, I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I want to do this. What are some of the things, activities you have to do? You have to go once a week or what? Uh, we have PT twice a week, physical okay. training twice a week in the morning. And then we have drill Tuesday mornings, which is where we wear uniforms all day after that around campus. Okay. Um, excuse me. We have stadium cleanup. We get to clean the stadium after football games, um, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> Um, it, it just depends on how involved you want to be. I'm, I'm in the armory every day doing something. Okay. So, it's, so you decided after freshman year to oh stay yeah, I did, 
I, I realized that I actually liked it and this is what I wanted. I want to be in the military after college. Good. Um, all my, my best friends are, I met in ROTC. So um, I'm really close with everyone there. And like I said, I basically live in the armory. <laughs> doing something every day there okay what sort of activities do you have? what about summers yeah um summer we we don't have anything with ROTC but we go active duty do, for one month where we do kind of a training okay. like this this past summer I was in Jacksonville Florida with a helicopter squadron which is where I was right before I went to the christening um so that was that was a lot of fun but we just different you do something different every summer for a month Okay. So, so there's different places that you go? Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's just kind of to get you acclimated to different communities of the Navy and what you might want to do in it. All right. When you graduate, do you, and do you have any choice on what you, whether you want to do an airing or what you're... Yeah, what? Um, I want to serve select as aviation. Okay. So hopefully I'll be flying. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tell us about the scholarship, the Dorothy Stratton scholarship that you received twice, I understand. Yes, I received it twice. Um, I actually didn't know I was getting it until I received it. <laughs> we have, For ROTC, we have this thing called Change of Command, and it's this huge like ceremony where they recognize graduating seniors, and they present scholarships and awards that people have won in the unit. Um, so for practice the day before, I was just told I was going to be getting an award, so I was told where to line up and when to go up. So I was like, I, I don't know. Both times this happened, so I didn't know what I was getting. What happens is um, I think the lieutenants actually put you, they nominate people and put you in for it. Um, so but the students have no idea. Um, but it's nice to get that. Screen. Oh, and, and you got yeah. it more than once. I, I got it twice. That's I was great. lucky. I was Are really you lucky. eligible again? Can you get it this year, too? I honestly don't know. Okay. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was a real honor to receive that. Um, and I, I didn't know much about Dorothy Stratton until they, when they give most awards, they read a little, um, like, paragraph right. about right. Yeah. who the person was and what they did right. and everything. And then I, when I went down to the christening, I learned more about her. Right. Tell us on the, uh, is, is the financial, uh, is, the, uh, is part of your scholarship, is that how it, uh, it it's a $900 scholarship. That's wonderful. That the student can use however they need academically, which is really helpful. Yeah, that's very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's talk about the christening of the uh, Coast Guard Cutter mm -hmm. in uh, Mississippi. How did you find out about it and tell us a little bit <coughs> all about it? Uh, this summer, one of the lieutenants from our unit called me, and he asked if I wanted to extend my cruise, which is what our training is, okay. um, an extra day to I'd leave – Jacksonville early and go to Mississippi for this Coast Guard ship commissioning. I'd never been to a ship commissioning or christening, okay. excuse me. So I thought that was a really would be a great opportunity. So I said yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, so I was in Jacksonville um, after a month and then flew to Mississippi. Okay. And tell us how the event. And there were some other. I uh, should tell you that I'm going to be interviewing Tony Hawkins and Sandra Monroe as well. Uh -huh. And they were there too. Yeah. Did you meet up with them there? Uh, yeah, I actually stayed in the same hotel room as Sandra Monroe. Oh, good. So, okay. yeah, she's a very nice lady. All right. Mm -hmm. Did you Did you um, see the uh, Michelle Obama? We were We were in the VIP section seating, so we were really close to her. Unfortunately, I didn't get to meet her firsthand, but um, the family did, and um, Captain Sally Wadlington got to and she was in our group too so that was really really nice yeah what sort of how did the act the event go did did was something before and after or? um yeah there was well getting there was kind of an, an event because i had to bus everyone over to the site um and then go through security uh there there were separate tents um air conditioning which was really nice in mississippi like yeah, i said right. we were kind of in the vip section so um you were outside of course mm -hmm, yes so the uh there's, I don't even remember all their names. That was when Michelle Obama spoke. That was when um, just a lot of the uh, Secretary of the Coast Guard spoke. Um, some other high-ranking officials spoke. Um, the, the vice president of the shipbuilding company spoke. And then, um, then Michelle Obama christened the ship with the champagne bottle. That was fun. <laughs> um, and then they just had a, a big reception afterward. Oh, dear. And they had, um, that's when everyone, like, that could go meet with Michelle Obama met with her. They had food there, and um, the, they were called spars from, the spars from World War II were there, which were the original um, females, the, the first females that were in the Coast Guard, I should say. 
Is and, and some of them were there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's great. Mm -hmm. There was like 20 of them there. Oh, what? how'd they look pretty good? Would they wear yeah. their uniforms? Oh, yeah, they wore their uniforms. <laughs> <laughs> they wore their uniforms. Did you wear yours as well? I wore my uniform. Oh, mm -hmm. that's uh, And did you get a chance to meet any of them? Yeah, I went up and introduced myself and got to talk to them a little bit, which was really interesting. Oh, I bet. Yeah. That, that, that's really nice, you know, mm -hmm. thank goodness. I mean, that's that's a real treat. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> that's the organization that you founded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Oh, then after that, did you then you came back to school? To came back to Purdue? Yeah, then I just um, I flew. I actually right after the ceremony, I drove to the airport. So oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about uh, some hobbies and your special interests. Do you have any in any community activity? Are you involved in any of those? At all? Um, no, unfortunately, okay. With the ROTC, ROTC and I engineering know. kind of takes up all of my time. So when are you you're going to graduate then uh, next year? December two thousand eleven. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But any uh, any hobbies? Or just the RG kind of takes up. Yeah, I used to. I played rugby here my freshman year, but um, I needed to sleep sometime, so that, that had to be cut out, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I do. I like to do endurance races. I did the Chicago Half Marathon last year. Um, I'm going to do a triathlon in the spring. Good. So. That'll keep you in, in getting ready. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, how about a Purdue tradition? Um, that comes to mind. I, I really like tailgating, just the whole atmosphere of everyone being out there together. It's really nice. You're right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you get, it, it just adds to the whole weekend, I think. Right, yeah. yeah. I'm, and I'm not the biggest football fan, but I, I like going to the tailgates and yeah. just like, having a good time there. Right. How many in the, in the class that you are in the ROTC? Are there quite a few in your particular class? There's about 30 of us, I want to say. Or is there both male and female, right? Yeah, both male and female. Obviously, a lot more males than females. There's a, I mean, the younger classes have a lot more, and then once you get older, people decide it's not for them or not what they want to do, so okay. they weed out. And after you, when you graduate, you'll, get, you'll be commissioned, and mm -hmm. then how many years to, will you have, do you have to serve? Um, my requirement is four years, but, excuse me, but I want to fly, so it's, um, Flight school is two years, and then it's eight years after flight school, so ten years. Okay. Well, that's all right. You can handle it. <laughs> How about an outstanding event? Anything come to mind? Um, it doesn't oh, have to be in Purdue. Anything, anything that comes to mind. Um, outstanding event. I would say probably getting my ROTC scholarship, just because um, junior year my dad came up to me, and he goes, well, how are you going to pay for college? And I was, I like that. That just shocked me because I was like, I'd never thought about like financially anything before. And I was like, um, I'm not sure. So then I was, at, I remember I was at lunch one day, and my guidance counselor, who was, um, he was in the Air Force for 20 some years, so he was really, like, the person who helped me the most in figuring out what I wanted to do and what scholarship I wanted to get. Came up to me at lunch and told me I got it, and I was just taken back completely, just because I was basically handed a college education. Yeah, that's great. And, and this, at the school that you wanted to go to. That exactly. That really mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. yeah, okay. And then, so then, t I, you did say this, but just again, when you graduate, you'll be in, you're hoping to go to flight school. Yes. But what kind of planes do you, do you plan to fly? I want to I fly helicopters. Okay. I was with a helicopter squadron for a month this summer. Um, I really like the community. I really like what they do. So hopefully that's what I'll be doing. But unfortunately, once you get into flight school, it's kind of based on the needs of the Navy. Right, but you can keep your fingers crossed anyway. Right, yeah. and I, I'd be happy flying anything, so. Right, okay. Anything special that uh, you wanted to share that I, I may have forgotten to ask? Um. Or Purdue, or anything in general? I don't think so. One thing that really surprised me was how involved Dorothy Stratton was in Purdue. Um, like I said, I ruined with Sandra Monroe for the christening, and she just told me that everything that she did at the university, and I knew she was big in the Coast Guard. I honestly didn't even know she worked for the university right. until and I went she down there. And she told you that she um, she knew Amelia Earhart. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. She said they were actually pretty good friends. Right. When Amelia, We had a back-to-campus program in 97 that was would have been Amelia's 100th year, and we had a, a couple people and one of them was going to be Dorothy Stratton but we video we videotaped it before mm -hmm. and it worked out all right because she had unfortunately the day that we had the program she couldn't come because she'd fallen in her hip oh. but we have that as part of the program mm -hmm. and she talked about some of the things that they used to get together so it, it worked out it was just really really mm -hmm. nice and she's just a one and we have some pictures of, of Dorothy of course and also with Amelia so mm -hmm. it, it and it's just just wonderful that uh, this ship got caught and got 
person did. Yeah, it was real it's honor. Great. And it's mm -hmm. nice that you could be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a really good time. Thank you, Laura, very much. Thank you. <clears throat>